utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Understood. Fargus is a noble and distinguished kingdom that has always valued chivalry. You'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Deep down, he's a good guy. He has an extremely earnest personality. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. But she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. Excellent, but I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up, you'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. Uh, Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but... I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. 